the last couple of weeks have been better with his practices and have been better. Did you say that as well? Yep. How did, what changed or what do you think clicked? Or, and when you say practice is better, what does it mean? Um, in our assignments, we're, uh, we're clicking into our assignments much better. I think we're practicing harder. And I think uh, one thing that uh, a mistake is made, we, uh, we move on. You know, we, we, uh, we come back to it later, we walk through or something like that. And uh, we correct it, and uh, we just move from there. What do you expect out of Nebraska? Have you been there? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been there. And uh, a program that's won a lot of games, and uh, I expect a tough game. What do you see in their quarterback and their running back? Uh, Pretty good. Solid, solid one game. That's uh, what we've seen so far. And uh, we expect to stop the game first of all, first thing we have Does it make your job easier or more fun maybe when you play a more pocket passer than you do a guy like maybe Baker Mayfield who can run around a little bit, make life harder for you? Uh, I don't really think that. I think either, either or. I mean, it's going to get out there, get out there, the quarterback. I think uh, it's, always, it's always a fun thing to do. So. I don't know what the preference is. not going to. Dante, Coach talked a little bit about the challenges of playing so many road games at night. What does that mean for you? What time are you getting home? What time are you getting in bed? How hard does that make it to, to turn around then on Sunday and start w working on the next game? Uh, well, the, uh, those night games are definitely tough, especially the late games. But I get home like 5 a.m. But I, they usually push practice back. So I mean, it's not, I mean, it's, you, you just got to get your rest. And, uh, once, once you get some sleep on you know, Sunday, it will be good. Do you feel a difference though in, I mean, having a little bit less recovery time, you know, from a noon game to getting home at four in the morning? I mean, it's you know, basically 12, 12 fewer hours of recovery time and rest time before the night game. Is that something you sort of feel throughout the week as you as you go on? Oh, yeah, you definitely feel it. Uh, you know, that we, we, we do things and we, we, it's, it's, it's like that. We do more, just more, uh, more treatment, try to get more rest, we hydrate more, just get more rest. What's harder, getting home at 4 a.m. or waiting around eight hours to play play a game? Uh, I would say my thing is waiting around. Uh, it's, it's hard to, you know, it's hard to just manage your emotions, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be ready and then you gotta, you know, somebody with coach say something, get you pumped up, and then uh, you don't you play for an hour, for three hours, something like that. So I think that's, that's hard. But uh, uh, like I said, that's uh, I would say, so that's harder. There's so many guys on the team, I'm sure everybody handles it differently as far as trying to kill time on Saturdays when you have a night game. Some guys take naps, some guys play video games, watch games. What, what, what's like the most common thing you guys do to try and kill time? Games, <laughs> but, uh, if there's a game while we watch it, uh, it's a, we, we got, sometimes we'll have like a 30 minute nap. But, uh, so we watch ball, get off the feet. No, video games. no you don't bring the video game.